In this video, we're going to check out the 1.1 firmware for the Deluge. In this case, we're going to check out the performance view. It shows song as a solid light, so we're in song view. We can see, right now I'm in grid view. The way I can tell is there's green, blue, and pink buttons right here. This is perform view. If I tap it, it shows this screen full of colors. If I tap it again, it goes back to the grid view. If I hold the pad down, we can see we're in performance, then I let go. It jumps right back to the grid view. I hold down song and turn the select knob. It says rows. We can see all the sections here. We can see this section is playing because this is green right here. From song view in rows mode, you just press the keyboard button and it switches into the performance view. If I press it again, it switches right back. If you're in a ranger view, keyboard also toggles performance view on and off. I'm going to go back to grid view, hold down song, turn the select. Now that we're in grid view, I'm going to scroll over. We can see the two clips right here. So let's press play. We see all the columns here. Now this is low pass. And this is resonance of the low pass. So let's press it. You can see numbers here. We can hear what it does to the signal. Now, if we hold it down, it'll stay until we let go. You can also just tap it. and It'll turn on and off. So there's the resonance. It's the sharpness of the cutoff. Same here, we have high pass. You can hear the low end. Being emphasized here. You can do both. Let's say I want to clear all of them at the same time. Hold down left right now, press back. It's the same command for removing notes. So I'm just going to leave that there. Now this is bass and treble. I just turned off low pass so we can hear this. Treble to the max. And then to the minimum. Now bass to the max. Minimum. And everything in between. This is reverb amount. So you can hear it. Mount right there. Now, if I switch to reverb, I can see the value showing right here. You can also just turn it. Now, this is delay amount, and then this is delay rate. Depending on what we choose, a lot of different sounds. Next we have mod effects. So all these are mod effects. This is rate or how fast. Depth, let's turn it up. Feedback, let's turn that up. Okay, rate is way too high, let's turn it down. We have offset. Clear it. Now we can also change the effects from the effects page right here. Just click the top knob, we can switch between all the different. And we also have grain, so that's kind of exciting. Turn up the reverb. Now right here is decimation. As you can hear, it just degrades the sound. You can also access that from here. You can see it right up here. So if I change it here, and I switch back, it'll go back to what it was pre-programmed as. Over here is bit crush. This can get pretty intense. Turn down the high end. Turn up the decimation.
over here we have stutter rate, so I can start lower. And it'll just keep repeating until I let go. I like using sixteenths. And then faster as and up here it goes even faster. Let's change the tone. Get some delay. Mod effects. Clear all this. Left, right, now, back. So I press in on the select knob here. We can see editing mode, filters, and effects. So let's go to editing mode. Right now it's on disabled. So if I go to value, I pressed back and we exited out. So now all of these values we can adjust. So I can press play here. I can change that value of that pad. Turn it down, and it'll just stay there. Let's change this one. Turn that lower, for example. Turn it back up to bring that one back up. So I can change all these different values here. Oh, this one's delay amount, so I can turn that so up a little. Then this one, delay rate. Let's make it lower. We're going to disable that grain. That reverb is full. Let's bring this one down a little. And even change stutter rate, so let's turn it up. Let's max it out. I'm going to press back. Let's go back to disabled. Back. So now I change that value. Now let's switch to a different pattern. Now let's enter in and also go to parameters. So if I choose that in editing mode, if we're in parameter, now I can back out. Now we can see every white pad here is just a shortcut. So that's like frequency resonance, for example. And so this is, so if I hold down right here, it'll highlight it and it'll say LPF frequency. So let's say I want that to go away. So I just press it and it goes away. So I want to enter it in here all the way through. I can do that if I want. Now I'm going to switch back to disabled. Let's test it out. So all these are the same values. Switch to this pattern and jump back in. So I don't even have resonance on here anymore. Let's go back in. Editing mode, parameters. You can just hold down LPF and then see it's highlighted. Now I just press it and it goes away. So I can just overwrite the whole thing if I wanted to. Let's make all of these stutter right. So I'm just pressing all these over here. Now we'll go to value. Now we can change the value of all these stutter rates. So I'm just changing them. Just hold down one pad and just turn the knob. And you can change the values. Now I'm going to just press back. We're going to go back in. Editing mode disabled. Now let's exit. Now let's test out. So it preserved all those, and it just responds to whatever I chose. Now here's the thing, if you save it, so if you're in this menu, and you're in the parameter page, so it shows save, and it's blanking, it saves it to an 
XML file on your SD card called Performance View XML. So if I press save right now, it would save this as default. Now, right now in this version, it's not per song. It's just one default XML file. So you have to actually go in your SD card, delete Performance View XML. So if I go back to disabled, I don't save it. It's not going to write over this. You can use this as an option to create your own workflow. So I just turned it back on. Let's go back into the song file. Now I'm back in the song file. Let's, let's go into performance. And now we're back to the original. Thankfully, I don't have to go to my SD card to erase the file. Some tricks, you can hold down this and while it's repeating, you can add say some different effects so it'll sound different when you exit out. You can hold it down again. Change it up. Go into effects, reverb, the model. This is on an older song file, so it was set to freeverb. Let's turn it back to mutable. Turn up diffusion. 